Here's a question for you. What and who truly defines value? It's an intriguing question and one that impacts our lives and businesses daily. Value can be tangible, like a crisp dollar bill or a shiny new car, but it can also be intangible, like the joy we feel when we achieve a goal or the trust we place in a brand. Furthermore, value can be intrinsic, inherent in the thing itself, or extrinsic, based on our personal perception or perceived worth. In that way, value is defined by the recipient. It's the buyer and not the seller or vendor. Indeed, the understanding of value has evolved over time, shaping the ways in which we interact and do business. To fully grasp this concept of value, it is crucial to take a journey back in time to trace the evolution of value. The story of value begins thousands of years ago with the simple barter system. Here, the value was as tangible as what was exchanged, like a sack of grain for a piece of pottery, a cow for a bolt of cloth. It was a time when the worth of a thing was intrinsic to the thing itself. People could see it, and they could touch it, and they could decide if it was good right there on the spot. As trade and communities grew more complex, so too did our concept of value. We moved from trying to barter and trade our goods to exchanging currency, like gold coins and paper notes. Over time, the value of products and services become somewhat abstracted. The currency itself had no real use. In literal terms, it's just paper or metal or a digital icon, but that currency represents a promise of value, a claim on goods or services available in the marketplace, a representation of value in the product or in the service provided. The advent of the digital age marked yet another shift. We now live in a world where value is increasingly intangible and extrinsic. Consider the rise of cryptocurrencies or the value we place on digital experiences and services or the idea of selling cloud computing or trust in decision making or even selling something called a platform. The worth of these is not tied to a physical commodity but to the perceived benefits and outcomes they provide. So from the tangible to the abstract, from the concrete to the intangible, our understanding of value has journeyed through time. As seen from our historical journey, the perception of value has radically transformed and with it, so have our business practices. This evolution of value has inevitably led to a shift in the dynamics of business relationships. No longer is it simply about the transaction of goods and services. The spotlight has shifted from intrinsic and tangible to the extrinsic and intangible definition of value. This is driving a profound transformation in how vendors, partners, and customers interact and grow together. In this new landscape, organizations are focusing more on delivering intangible value. It's no longer enough to just sell a product or a service. Customers and stakeholders crave experiences that resonate, that make them feel understood and valued. After all, what is the value of time, or the value of easy, or the value of flexibility or scale? Buyers are human, and they yearn for brands they can trust, brands that uphold their reputation with consistency and integrity. Simultaneously, vendors and partners are redefining their roles. They are no longer mere suppliers of tangible intrinsic commodities, but key collaborators vested in creating and enhancing these intangible and extrinsic forms of value. That's why buying committees want expertise, capabilities, and problem solving in their relationships, not just a transaction. The interconnected relationships are evolving into partnerships characterized by mutual growth and shared goals across global ecosystems. In this new era, organizations that understand and leverage this shift in value perception are the ones that truly succeed. As you can see, the concept of value is critical and it has a fascinating evolution. We are currently living and working in a time of massive shift in perceptions of value. Buyers are moving from a focus on tangible, intrinsic value to something far more nuanced and abstract, extrinsic, intangible value like the value of time or the value of less stress 
or the value of success. Value, once easily measurable and directly linked to physical assets, has morphed into something more challenging to communicate and sell. It's now tied to experiences, emotions, and personal fulfillment. It's like selling a promise or a shared set of values or a vision for the future. This evolution has changed not only the nature of value itself, but also the dynamics of business relationships. It's impacted how we communicate value, how we create curiosity, and how we sell. Vendors, partners, and customers are no longer just engaged in transactions. Instead, they are part of an intricate web of relationships built around the mutual creation and sharing of this new form of value. The emphasis has moved from what can be transferred to what can be shared and co-created. In a world where value is constantly being redefined, staying ahead means understanding this evolution and adapting to it. So, what value are you offering today? Now it's your turn. What do you think? Play this video in a team meeting or send it to your peers or manager. What do you agree with or what do you disagree with? You can put it in the comments below or talk about it together live. Here are the questions you can discuss. First, what is your definition of value? How do you explain it? Again, that question is, what is your definition of value? How do you explain it? Pause this video now and discuss or comment. When you're done discussing that question, hit play. Ready for the second question? Here it is. Who is the primary buyer your definition of value is for? Who are the different roles that perceive value from your organization? Again, that question is, who is the primary buyer your definition of value is for? Who are the different roles that perceive value from your organization? Pause this video now and discuss or comment. When you're done discussing, hit play. The final question is this, when it comes to value, is your organization's value only found in the features of your product or do buyers perceive value in other ways? Again, that question is, when it comes to value, is your organization's value only found in the features of the product or do buyers perceive value in other ways? Pause this video now and discuss or comment. When you're done, hit play. I hope you found this video helpful and thought provoking. I'm building these because we are in a critical time. The shift from knowledge work to digital work requires leaders and teams to come together. We must all figure it out together by being curious, asking questions, and having conversations. I applaud you for making time for this. This is Dr. Brian Lambert. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, we don't get to define what's valuable. Our customers and future customers get to define what's valuable. Our job is to uncover that value, communicate that value, and capture it. If you found value in this video, reward me with a like, share, and subscribe to this video and channel. I'll see you next time.